Good evening and welcome to the Health, Social, and Educational Committee budget meeting. Please rise with the budget budgets. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Legislator Crowley. Present. Legislator Goldman. Present. Chairwoman Sage. Present. Okay, number three, we will begin the 2025 uh, budget process, and we will start. Page 59. Commissioner, how are you? Okay, first one on the list is Community College. On page 59, I do have a question about this. It seems like the um, community college budget goes up and up every year, and this year it went down by $275,000. So I'm just trying to. Yes, I actually uh, reached out to Dave Lucas from uh, NISAC, uh -huh. and it's a adverse relationship. So when the when the FTEs or the enrollment goes up, the chargebacks go down. So it's not only just Putnam County; it's all counties. So that's actually a, a good thing. Um, originally when we were there in July um, during my conference I had spoken to Dave Lucas and he had said just to be conservative put a 10% that's why I went from the 3.9 to the 4 million three and then we got within the last uh, couple of weeks we got the, the real numbers from SUNY. So it actually went down. Oh. So that's a good thing. Okay. But it's still a mandated cost. Yeah, um, and it's not to pay it. Yep. And if it, if it if if the numbers change throughout the year, then we'll have to. Yeah, pay I our just bills. I just want to I just want to also um, I want to also mention that there are other counties. I'm not recommending it, but there are other counties like Rockland and Sullivan that charge back to respective communities to lower the the cost, but. I think that this, this this board and prior administrations, you know, have bared the expense. So, yeah, this is this is part of the benefit um, yep. for the counties. The county, the county covers Correct. for all the individuals. <laughs> Anyone have questions? Further questions? Okay, so we'll move on to the next county um, historian. Uh, Two twenty-three. 224. Um, I don't have a question on that. So, page 223, special projects. And I think, oh, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> I looked down. I looked up. <laughs> well, how are you? Welcome. Great. Thank you. So um, I was just asking about the special projects for the um, line. Yes, yeah, so that's our jump. That's our big jump this year. And it'll be a bit of a skipping record for you all because as we head into 2025, 2026, as Tara mentioned earlier in the, the last committee meeting, uh, America 250, she refers to it as Rev 250, it has a couple different brands as uh -huh. where you go federally, statewide, or locally. Uh, this is earmarked money for programs moving forward. In Putnam County's history, we really don't get underway in Revolutionary War history until 2026 and then onward, but the big anniversary and celebration nationwide is going to be in, I'm sorry, 2027 is, is going to be in 2026. So Tara and myself a couple months ago had a big round table with the, our historical community. We opened the door wide and brought in our cultural arts folks as well. Everyone who has kind of a vested interest in anything history related, performances, book readings, um, well, like author talks, that's really what I meant, um, and special events and Cornell Cooperative the fair, county fair, so how are we going to move it, put it all together moving forward. So that money, I'm going to try to put together a committee, someone from the county exec, someone from the legislature. Uh, Joyce Pacone from Cultural Arts, uh, Putnam Arts Center, is counseling me on how to put together 
what will hopefully then be a handout to those who apply from historical organizations and nonprofits, people who are already established within the communities, countywide, and to give those, let's use a, a historical study like Kent Historical Society, Patterson Historical Society. They want to do programming relative to America 250, Rev 250. We can help get them funding that maybe they can't afford, or they can't afford the local author, but what about a bigger named author, a national author, somebody really with great uh, esteem and known, we want to be able to help them afford to have these special events. So that's, it's not really a plan in black and white right now, but it's the idea that we need that security moving forward. Thank you. And just for those who may be watching, I just wanted just to make sure everybody knows this is our uh, county historian, Jennifer Caruso. <laughs> Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy. She's great too. <laughs> <laughs> Legislator Montgomery. That support will come out of the $10,000 or you'll support them in finding other funding resources? Well, this is a, this is a soft yeah. ask. Yeah. Because as I said, the, the next, next year when I come here, I will be <laughs> pleading. <laughs> um, I mean, Dutchess mm -hmm. County, for example, I think their budget moving into 2025 is seventy five thousand dollars. Yeah, this is a so this, this is, is a nothing <laughs> for knowing what the project is and what you're up against. And, and I know my skill set and my experience. So that's why I'm going to be reaching out to people like Joyce at the Arts Center, how to run a grant program and get people who know have these special big events. So my question is the okay. grants aren't coming out of the ten thousand, are they? The starter it's going okay. to be a starter. All right. Seed money. Yeah. That's not a lot. No, I might ask. I might be back. So, but uh, thank you for the idea. I hope we can fund it because it's a, it is an exciting. Time. It's a, as I said just before the meeting uh, to somebody in the group, this is a once in a lifetime. Yeah. 250th anniversary for those of us who were around for 1976. <laughs> maybe this is yeah. a twice in a lifetime event, but 250 is a big thing, and we will be judged in the future for mm -hmm. what we did to commemorate this big anniversary. So I look forward to being part of it. I look forward to your support and I thank you for past support and future support. It's exciting. Yeah, it really is. And we have so much history here yeah. for the Revolutionary War. Um, any, any other legislators have questions? I just have a comment because so we don't see you, you know, mm -hmm. often. I wish I saw you more because your programs are great. Thank I've you. attended a couple throughout the year. I wish I could attend more, but um, I really do enjoy them and the work. That Thank you. Doing. And I, I say it, I said it last year. We've had a few of you visit your <coughs> office. Please, if you get the opportunity, come by, see the archives, see where it's all stored and the magic is that DPW takes good care of us, keeping the archives room intact. We have great donors. It's just, it's a privilege and an honor to be in this role. And I just, I love what we produce. And very proud of the work, work we do. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you and those much. archives are open to the public, is that correct? They are. By Although appointment or? We are a part-time office, part-time staff. So we do public research hours uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from about 10 to 2 and by appointment. I understand the need for flexibility as a mom and a part-time worker that I will, I will make do. You want me to come in on a Friday? I'll do it. Eagle Scouts need me on the weekend? Wow. We'll open the doors. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for what you do. Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Good luck with that project. Come visit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the health department. <coughs> Start on page 6061 with TV's handicap file. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Hello. We have our financial wizard, Mr. Orr, Mr. Miller, and Commissioner Dr. Neshwat. So, uh, Welcome. The good news is that this will be my tenth, and really this time my final <laughs> budget <laughs> presentation. I don't know. I, I really, nobody's I really mean it. This nobody's time. <laughs> <laughs> You've told us that so many times. <laughs> with that said, six to one says no. <laughs> with that said, I just want to say we're presenting to you a budget that we feel is. It's a very good budget so that we can continue doing the services we do now, and that is to be a full-service health department. Yeah. With that said, I want you to understand and refocus your attention to the fact that we have state-mandated programs that are sort of dictating to us part of this budget. Yeah. You know, so uh, we'll try to answer all and any questions you may have, and we'll take it from there. Bill, it's all yours. I just want to go over a few um, 
divisions of our health department, and that'll answer some of your questions, I yeah. think, going forward. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the septic repair program. Yeah. Um, okay, the state has increased our septic repair program by an additional 200,024. Okay. This increase is in addition to the 190 and 23. The total amount allocated is 465 of which 25 homeowners took advantage of the program and we spent about a hundred thousand dollars so far and just to let you know this grant provides funding for the replacement of cesspools septic systems that are having significant environmental impact to the groundwater used for drinking water so the program reimburses uh, the approved homeowner 50 percent of their cost up to ten thousand on the homeowner's end the state gets the other end the body of water included in this program are, these are new ones, Oscawana Lake, um, that's an old one, but there's some new ones here, Foundry Brook and Tributaries, Middle Branch Reservoir, Muscut, how do you say that? Muscut, Muscut. River, Upper and, and Tributaries, East Branch Croton, Middle and Tributaries, and East Branch Croton, Upper and Tributaries. And as I said over and over again, this is a pass-through system, there's no fiscal impact to the county just facilitated. Um, the next one I want to talk about now, is... I have a question about that, yeah. if I may, through the chair. You want to ask questions? As, okay. about, Go ahead. If it's, it's, I mean, it's crazy to come back to it, right? We don't want to... Well, it's good. we're going to come back to it somewhere. Okay, yeah, we'll go through the budget right. lines, too. You want me to just finish this, then? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Okay. Yeah, finish your, your overview. Okay. <clears throat> Watershed grant. All right. The health department has had a renewable five-year agreement with the city of New York to administer and enforce watershed regulations. This is probably the fifth one, I think it's, uh, so that's 25 years has been going on that they've been giving us the money for. The grant award has been 931000 for the five-year period. Our, environment, uh, our Environment, the Health Division has been devoting more time to this program and New York City agreed to increase this program 400000 so that's why I'm bringing it up. The, the, the amount will be now $1.33 million. The increase is part of the current agreement, which the current agreement, this one ends March 31st. Um, and they said they'll continue it on the next agreement also for the next five year period. Uh, with the approval of a new engineer that we, we asked for, um, the, we anticipate more time and activity in this um, activity. And I'm going to hand out to you, um, I'd like to increase the revenue on this end from $40,000 to $270,000. Because they gave us this money we're, and we have a new engineer coming on, it's going to increase revenues for us. So I'll hand that out after I'm done here okay. um, for a change in the budget, all right? So an increase in the revenue line. Um, just a note on the recycling litter program. The litter program, we continue to have a budget of 90000 for cleanup of our roadways, and we continue to have 25000 for the rail trail. Um, okay, the next one is infrastructure grant. The infrastructure grant is a grant whereby the health department was able to hire a public health data and information informatics specialist and a quality improvement evaluation manager at no cost to the county. Funding for both positions will end August 26. For the 25 budget, when we submitted it to the county executive, we allowed for health benefits for the maximum rate, which we always do. Um, and these particular employees didn't take it, thereby reducing the estimate and fringes. So I have included in this a decrease in revenues because expenses went down and then we don't, they're only going to fund what we pay for it. Okay, so that's going down $41,000. So it's kind of, but with both things, it's kind of an offset to each other in our budget. Uh, the last two things are the ones we have no control over. Programs, we have no control over, and they're running, um, you know, high cost increases. First one we'll talk about is early intervention program. In, our, in, the, in that program, the care of private institutions. We have no children attending schools currently. We budgeted for 13 because we had 13 in 24. 23. The reason for the drop is that UCP discontinued their early intervention school-based program. 
So the 24 budget was 110, and we only expect to spend 40, savings of 70,000. We did put a budget in in case other other schools will pick up some kids for two to five kids, so we have a budget of fifty thousand um, dollars in twenty five. The next one is itinerant services, which are home services. Uh, we currently have two hundred fifteen kids. We anticipate two twenty five to two thirty. Um, the budget line, that budget line, we're proposing an increase of fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Now the big program is pre K. Uh, it came to you guys before the 24 money, so you're going to see that it's continuing to, to increase in this area. We currently have 103 kids attending school-based programs. We anticipate 115 and 25. 115 at $44,000 average rate, which some are much higher, is about 5.1 million. The account also serves SEAT services, special education itinerants, teachers, we estimate that to be 1.5 um, for those services. These services also, the state increased their rate, which is going to cost us an additional $240,000 per year. Uh, we anticipate 300 kids to receive services in 25. The budget line, this budget line is going to have an increase of $1.2 million. Yeah. It's going to be a request of $6.4 million. Yeah. Okay, and I won't run, the, the itinerant service is the same thing, more kids, we're, we're increasing that, $250,000, um, for the same reasons that we just said. So I just wanted to give you that update um, to answer some of your possible questions as we go forward. Okay, I think those were the first two questions I had. The, uh, the care private institution and the itinerant services, you already answered that. Um, anyone else have questions on... Where are you starting now? Um, I'm starting on with uh, ED, handicapped child, uh, and the book on, on your, see the book in front of Dr. Moore. I have copies of it. Okay. 60 to 61. What page? 60 and 61. That's education, three to five program. Oh, you're starting on that one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, those are the two, those are the two highlights that I had. Yeah, I went over the big accounts, yeah. why they went up. If there's any other questions. Right, any other questions on that? Okay, so moving on, we'll go to health and nursing. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Through, through the chair. Bill, it looks like that 1.2 million gets offset by an increase in state aid. Yes, 59.5% of those costs are reimbursed. Okay, because I'm seeing <coughs> here that the transportation handicap 3 to 5, it's gone up about Million. Yeah, it's in there. So that's where, so we're then, we're running 200,000 more costs that are not being reimbursed. Got it. Thank you. Any other questions <coughs> before moving on? Okay, so we'll go to health and nursing. I do have a question about the uh, vehicle. All right, what page are you on? On page 109. Okay, got it. Yep. Um, looks like there's an additional thousand for a vehicle rental. Is that just the increase in price or are you adding Yep, it? that's an increase in, in the level. We're, we're, we're buying, with the help of John Tully, um, Jeep uh, compasses. That's what we're okay. buying. So they're a little more expensive than the Ford Fusions that we have. Yeah. We're leasing, right? Le I'm sorry, leasing. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry. Leasing. sorry. Mm -hmm. okay, any other questions? Okay. Um, moving on. Okay, 107. 127. Hold on. Let me just get my notes. I'm sorry. I don't have any time. Okay, wellness programs. Page 128. Okay, the Feral Cat Program. We're doing nursing. Yeah, we put all the other nursing pages. 128. 109. We've missed nursing. Oh, no, we, well, I just asked if you need to have questions on it. Do you want to go back to nursing? Anybody have questions on nursing? I don't think we even did nursing. Yeah, it was like. 18 pages. <laughs> <coughs> okay. 
Well, I went through. Um, does anybody have questions on nursing? Well, oh, I guess it's personnel. Never mind. <laughs> it is personnel. personnel. Programming is nothing remarkable in programming that's changed. Um, right. Yeah, I kind of went over all the ones that were yeah, you uh, touched on highlight, highlights. You know, highlighted. Mm -hmm. Right. Everything else is, is static. Okay, and the wellness program is the feral cat program. We'll move on to early intervention, 129 and 30. That I kind of went over also. We did the yeah, increases. Over that as well. Anyone have any further questions? Go ahead. Uh, that's just, yeah, just, just for clarification, Bill, you said UCP is in, they're not doing the preschool? Or no, they're not doing early the, intervention, the, the zero to two. They, oh, they're not doing that at all? Anymore? No, they're still doing pre-K three to five. Okay, but but their preschool still there. Okay. Yeah, they're done. We have we had a thirteen, and they're done. They're, they're, they had to find home services, and, or they went. I don't think they would have found any schools because no openings right now. I have a question. Which um, Senator Montgomery? The, it seems we've zeroed out the maternal health line on page one thirteen. Four one six two one eight. Sorry, I can't. I can't go through twenty seven pages. There. All right, there you go. That's my book. What's that? So that's why we get our books ahead of time. That's 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 not the way to start out the budget season. Go ahead. I've looked at the budget for the past month, by the way. So thank you. And I've had lots of conversations with the county what is executive your question? on it. Direct your question, so, please. Um, I'm I'm addressing you right now. What's Let's start out the budget season in a civil manner. It, I am. Yeah, well, we don't need your snide remarks. This chairperson. <laughs> right back at you. My question is, I see that the maternal health line is zeroed out. What, what page? Just 113. It's um, 416218. It's the uh, bottom part yep. of the page. Yep. That's is just that line? is that's just a revenue line okay. so that we uh, that we're not anticipating any money because we don't fill out any. The call goes to open door. Is that what some yeah is? some of it but. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions before I'm moving on? Go ahead, Legislator Elmer. Page 129, the vehicle leasing. You see, you're up about 15 percent on this, and there's a lot less. Are there more vehicles? Or is that just the, the cost per no, vehicle yeah, has increased? Yeah, this is a reason. Uh, years ago, we had a vehicle called a Spark, uh, which I could probably carry on my back. You know? And uh, that was very low. That was, you know, they just wanted to get us a, a car. So, again, we went, we went for a, a, a Jeep, and it's, that's why it's that much more money. It's, it's the same, you know, one vehicle to one vehicle. It's not conditional. Thank you, Chairwoman. Uh, page 130 on the top, travel and non-employees went down and also lease transportation went down. Which one? Travel non-employees? First one. Yeah. Um, that is for... Less, sorry? We're anticipating less services? Or yeah. No, we well, no. That's just... That's parents taking their kids and there's less, okay. less parents taking their kids. And, and it went down also because um, right now we don't have any kids and we only expect two to five, so I, I lowered the budget for that. Thank you. Lease transportation, the third one down, basically went down with that also. Yeah, yep, same, same thing. thing. Uh, you know, with no kids, there's no transportation costs. Thank you. They put some in there just in case other schools mm -hmm. come, come around. Pick them up. Any further questions before we move on? Okay, page 131, communicable disease. Any questions on that budget? Communicable disease. Question? Which is Montgomery. Thank you. Um, 54484 on page 131, 
communicable IBS treatment. What is that? It's the last. Yeah, right. that, that's just the, the general account that we purchase all our travel clinic fees and other fee uh, uh, travel clinic vaccines okay. and other things. So that's the one. It's, it's only one account. What does IBS stand for? I don't know. <laughs> Are you trying oh. to catch me? No. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Someone said it's an infectious disease. We'll get back to you. What? Infectious <laughs> disease. That's it. Infectious disease doesn't make sense. I'm good with that. Services. Infectious disease services. Oh, there you go. It's just, that's where, that's I'll buy get, it. That's where we get all I'll our buy vaccines. that one. I did something. The price is right. And it's went up oh, a little right. because people are traveling more and they're coming in more for, for, for vaccines before they travel. Good. Glad they are. Okay, and there are questions? And that's fee-based. We get a lot of fees. For yeah. Thank you. Uh, 131, Child Adult Organization. Have we raised the price or are expecting more people to be getting vaccinated? First item on there. Yeah, like I said, more the whole thing is, is more people, more more services. More awareness. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, moving on to recycling, page two thirty four and two thirty five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went over the litter program, so. Do you have any questions on the recycling? So the first line, the revenue line, is that the grant? The grant. Yes. Or the position? Or for the recycling position? Yep. <coughs> Anyone have any questions on recycling? 234, 235. Which, which line were you speaking of? I'm just, I'm on, I was, I was talking about the uh, recycling educator line. That's yeah, a that, new line. That's the grant that we. Approved. Yeah, the 421303 where it says recycling educator revenue. Right. That's, that's a 50% reimbursement for the new educator that's For a full-time educator as opposed yeah. to a part-time educator, which yeah. is what we got. Yeah. And the reimburse is fringe too. It's part of it. Oh, good. 50% of salary and fringe. Oh, that's awesome. Question. No, it's going to be for the future. There's a lot of money coming in from the state and federal government for um, uh, food scraps and you know those kinds of programs. We don't have them yet, so I'm just looking forward to seeing that in here. Hopefully, that would be a great program for the uh, full-time recycling coordinator to take on. Okay. Any other questions on recycling? If not, we'll move on to the youth program. <coughs> So that's the next one, my The what program? Youth program. So that's not uh, you. That's, that's, that's not you. You're done. 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 Thank you for doing a great job at the health okay, department. Yeah. We are an accredited health department in the state of New York. I think that's something for Dr. Candy to be really proud yeah. of, especially under your leadership, Dr. Mike. And we thank you for your years of service and for coming out every year. We won't see you next year. So thank you for your final budget. I'll come by and say hello. But actually, i got to tell you, it's the people in the health department, my colleagues here, it's teamwork. It wasn't for them, maybe it could be all about this. All right, we are going to hand out the the changes that we need to occur, the revenue changes. Oh, right. So I have, so have, have coffee for everybody. Yeah. Can you guys be here uh, for personal? I'm yeah. we'll make a motion to accept this additional. Second. Can you can make those changes. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I think we're done. Thank you. We're out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so welcome. Oh, so.
What page is? Uh, so what page are we on? Two sixteen. Tell me that again. The handout. It's the handout. Two one six. Oh, the train just on there. Oh, right. Yeah. Just pass out this one. Yeah. I'm like already on the next agenda item. And of course, I didn't ask my questions regarding mm -hmm. that. Um, just a little later on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have some cha changes in uh, revenue lines. Um, I will make a motion to accept a revenue line increase. Line number 42280 from 230,000 to, can I just do it all at once? Or do I have to do each one? For 200, from 230000 to $270,000 for an increase in funding for our, through our grant agreement. I'll second that. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next change is uh, a decrease to revenue line. Um, what's the number? 444-892-10205 for 400, excuse me. Forty-one thousand two hundred fifty-nine dollars from two fifty-eight one ten, reducing it to two hundred sixteen eight fifty-one. This is for the to reflect the actual fringe benefits that were reduced in the tender budget, and the revenues need to be reduced respectively. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Okay. So those are the changes. Okay. Right now. Two top aside and we'll move on. Okay, moving on now to our youth program. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Um, we'll start on page 216. We have with us our um, Commissioner of Social Services and the uh, Director of the Youth Program, Janine Cunningham, and Sarah Servadio. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to give us, give us an overview uh, before we begin? Yeah, Talk sure. about the youth program a little bit. Yeah. So we, you know, we're looking forward to 2025, um, finishing out uh, the year with, you know, so we, we're, you know, doing our youth court program again. We just started our mentoring program this week. Um, we have our trunk retreat coming up next Friday. Um, we'll have our holiday. What are we calling that? Our holiday market in December for, um, for some of the families. Um, our Pegasus program will be starting back up again. So we're just, you know, with the school year right now, all our programs. And then moving into 2025, uh, we'll be back in Phillipstown doing our training um, over there, continue with our mentoring program after school. Um, we'll have our senior awards and youth awards and the youth business market. and. Um, our summer programs, uh, so pretty much, you know, we're pretty much uh, going to be, you know, running the same um, as is um, with with our programs. Um, just some of the things that are moved around, really, we just kind of try to make it, um, instead of putting it in miscellaneous, we just put it into, like, special projects, so we just kind of just put it into better lines is pretty much what we've what, what we, uh, done. Um, we did receive our state funding, which I think we always receive it like the day that the budgets do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we did what we did this year is instead of, um, you'll see, instead of putting it in certain lines, we just put it all in the Youth Bureau line, um, just so then when we do our RFP and get all that back, then we can just put it in back, you know, we can just uh, take it out of that one line. Um, and so, again, we have our, you know, the funding that we get from the, uh, the New York State Office of Children and Family Services, and then we were fortunate to get um, fully funded for uh, our Highway Safety Grant again this year. So that started October 1, and um, we'll go to uh, 2024 <coughs> till September 30th of 2025. So, 
Um, and the only thing that I know that we were looking, I tabbed a couple of things, but I was just advised um, we had put in for a, um, a just a laptop for our mentoring program, and I was just advised that there is one for us, okay. so that um, that we can actually have. So um, so that was just one thing. <coughs> Um, and I know in our Pegasus program on page 217, um, with our Pegasus program, that's for children who have a parent or guardian with an alcohol or substance abuse um, issue. And I know, um, I see that uh, we had put in for um, the $3,000 and it was split with promotional materials. Um, that program is really, you know, just for you know that's like the money we use for that is just for like pizza the rental of like the movie they don't re you know so i guess i think that was the one michelle that you and i spoke about um just so we were, we were just to put it all back into um the miscellaneous line so that was so yeah. that is oh the one the line above it so yeah so under pegasus which yeah. is one zero zero eight eight zero 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 so right. and then the miscellaneous is the five four nine eight nine okay um the but there was a budget line created for promotional materials which we use but not in this program so it was just just the one change would just to be to put um to continue to just to keep the same amount all in the miscellaneous line just so instead of separating, we'd rather have it all together. Right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we can make the move out from this. Are you? Oh, gosh. Sorry. No, go ahead. I know you no, have a question. No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> finish your presentation. <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to see. And that was pretty much the only, the only thing. The only other thing was in, on page 220. Um, the only other change on that uh, is that if you look at again our miscellaneous and we have special projects so special projects is where um, the miscellaneous money was moved into so which is great so it's that one one zero seven three one zero zero um, five four four zero oh, eight one oh one one four special projects mm -hmm. um, and just there was just a little increase with that um, because of our camp um, program went up um, from $45 uh, to $55 a camper. So that was just a little added addition that um, that we did put in for this budget for mentoring. So that's our summer camp that we uh, program that we do over at uh, at Camp Burlet. Okay, so you just moved the miscellaneous to the special project. Right, so exactly. Okay. Okay. Any other um, and also, oh, Michelle, go ahead. Have, um, when Janine asked, we have to make a motion to move the, mm -hmm. the $1,000 from promotional materials to miscellaneous. Right. Um, so I'm, I'll do that now. Um, I will make a motion to move promotional materials, 54329, to the miscellaneous line. <coughs> Five four nine eight nine. Can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Move that one over. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone have questions? Go ahead. Let's start Crowley. Um, five four three one one printing and forms went up to thirty thousand. So that's our highway safety grant. Um, so that is for the parents' as driving partners um, booklet that we put together. Um, we so that that is 100% fully funded by um, the, the governor's traffic safety committee. Okay. So that's um, we're partnering and trying to expand into other counties too. So that's what that um, why that increase went up. But again, it's it's funded through the grant. And there's no match. It's 100% fully funded by by um, the governor's traffic safety committee. Is that on the website? Excuse me. Will that be on the website? This, yes, um, we're actually trying, we're working right now to create, um, put it on our website and also to um, partner with, um, right now, Orange, Columbia, and Dutchess County are on board, so we're trying, we're working with them to have a link, you know, to all our websites, too. Right. Go ahead. Um, on page 219, uh, line 5497. 
see that there's a big difference between your requests and what the tentative is. Is that sufficient? For Arbor House. Oh, Arbor House. So, um, let me just see. 54, you said? 54, 970. Oh, there we are, Arbor House. So that, um, that is uh, funding that we received from the state, from Office of Children and Family Services. So that's a 60-40 match. So um, they give us the 60% and then the county puts in the 40%. So usually they would give us and tell us that Arbor House um, would get a certain amount of dollars and the transitional living program would get a certain amount of dollars. But this time they just told me, this is how much you're getting. So, um, so the RHY program would get a total of $99,090. Um, so then the 40, so we have to also um, put in a 40% match from the county. So that's why that number is a little, is a little different this year because of the way the state was doing their allocation to us. Can I ask about line number 54647, subcontractors, you requested 7,600 and were granted. Oh, that, so that again is the state money from Office of Children and Family Services. Um, so we put part of that, so the depends on the way we can use the funding. So we have youth development program money and we have two different pots of sports funding. Mm -hmm. So car, that's, that's funding that we give to Carmel Recreation for them running their, their uh, Tiny Tots program. The rest we put into a um, and put into the youth pro into the youth program. So this is the first time we've done it this this way. Um, so it is a little confusing, um, but yeah. So nor so normally we break it up into who's into the different youth court gets a little bit. Instead this year we put it all into uh, all the youth all the funding right into one into the um, youth bureau budget. So that's why that's a little different. So. It's just the way, so it's still the same amount of funding, it's just we just kind of broke it up a little bit differently in our budget. Okay. Just because of the way the state has been giving us our funding so late. Yeah. And what about green chimneys? There was no request in 25, but uh, it was... Right, just, so, curious yeah, so that's the green now. chimneys, that the, the TLP program. We put zeros in um, requested because, we, again, we put it all into the youth bureau line so that um, once we found out our numbers, oh, okay, that's, that, that's what happened. We didn't have any of yeah. our numbers at the time, so we put most of them as zeros and put everything into the youth bureau line. And then, of course, like I said, now we're just kind of try, you know, trying to allocate it after we did the RFP. Okay. Um, any other questions from other legislators? Um, sorry to jump back. That's okay. Because we didn't have an order of this anyway. Um, so page 217, um, line item 54675-10184 travel went up $3,500. We're sort of just a quarter of the way down. 10184. One program. Four. Okay, so the travel, the one that says 31490 actual. 31490. Yeah, so that is, let me just see. That's the highway safety grant again. So that's um, the one that's fully uh, funded through um, the New York State Governor's Traffic Safety Committee. Mm -hmm. So that's for if we're traveling to the schools. Um, for different uh, presentations, if we're traveling to um, conferences, um, you know, with, with, you know, just different, different things that, you know, we would be doing with the kids in the, in the, in the county. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, if it's like to a, like we're presenting this year, we have four kids, we're traveling up to Lake Placid to do a presentation, so that's, um, that's just why that went up. But again, that's fully you have funded. A bus or you have a van? We have a van, yeah. yeah. Or now we, well, our van got taken off the road because it didn't pass inspection, oh, so okay. now we have our mm -hmm. Nissan, so. Which I'm very happy with. <laughs> so, but. And that's it, that traffic safety. Uh, that's all the lines 101A4. Yes, exactly. Right. 
Right, so that grant we just received, again, um, fully funded, started October 1, um, and it'll go to September 30th of 2025. Okay, any other questions uh, about the program? Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank starting with the Office of the Disabled on pages 56 and 57. Thank you. We come with big binders. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And everyone just introduce yourself to your Kristen? Yes. Um, Kristen Warner, Fiscal Manager, DSS Mental Health. Nicole McGuire, Deputy Commissioner. Thank you. We are obviously your department with three new uh, <laughs> heads yeah. here. Yeah, I just um, want to make sure everybody... We very much appreciate your patience. We've worked very hard at this. We think that we are quite confident with what we are presenting. But of course, if we don't have your answers, we will get them to tomorrow. So. We don't know how you guys do it, so you just <laughs> maybe let us know what you want to touch on. We'll take it, I guess. Page 5 page. Oh, so we'll start with the uh, Mental Health Office of the Disabled, um, pages 56 and 57. Um, see if anyone has any questions on Legislator Elmer. Yeah, I see the where we are so far this year exceeds what you asked for for all of next year by some sixteen thousand three hundred some sixteen thousand three hundred dollars. So are we gonna have enough for you to accomplish? This is very important. I believe the pro uh, this is predominantly driven by the personnel services line which we have to do an accounting adjustment because there's a split between the, the headcount that lives in the office for disabled and it's a split between office for disabled and the lgu so you might see that part a little lower as well it's just an accounting adjustment that we have to do but if i can just add if you don't mind um <laughs> we'll see the, the contracts are up four thousand uh there's another for uh, furniture and fixtures for 2200 and a miscellaneous for a thousand um, those are those are the increases you know that I see um, analytically and that would be a, a, a desk for a coordinator mm -hmm. um, and then they can speak about the legislative form speaker. Is that, is that what the contracts line, did, line yes. is? Yeah. Okay, maybe we're trying to add. That. We would like to do it again okay. uh, for next year. So I believe the last time it was done, was it was before my time. So I, I okay. haven't been to one yet. <coughs> Any other questions on Office of the Disabled? Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, second item down and third item down. We're buying new furniture and the computer? Yes, so that is for a laptop for our coordinator with disabilities who I think is currently using an aged model um, and an update for her office as well, for her furniture. Thank you. Our, our, our mental health staff do not have laptops, so we are asking the mental health staff, which I believe we're asking for four, um, for them to get laptops just because they don't have one. And they're in the field. They're in the field, and they're unfortunately been using other things when they're outside of the office. So that's why that request is there. And did you say for outside the office or for? For field work. Field work, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a 24 7 job, and we're not okay. Okay. confined to the office. <laughs> Okay. If there's no further questions on the Office of the Disabled, we'll move on to Substance Abuse, page 132. <coughs> Any questions on <coughs> Substance Abuse? 
lines. <laughs> so this is passed through money that we received from um, OASIS, the Office of Addiction and Support. Um, and the 65 bottom line you'll see there is the maintenance of effort that's required by the county as part of that, as their contribution. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. The, what line was the county contribution that the difference was? The raise by taxation, okay. the 65805. And that brings it to, so and that's the subcontractors are Coke Care. For this instance, yes, this one is Coke Care. Yeah. I just am always surprised that that number doesn't go up. And it's just been a number of years, obviously, since the number hasn't gone up and we're still in the middle of this crisis if it's not worse and I, I don't know I just we're we need to invest more in dealing with this crisis and it's Cove Care is our only provider um, then we need to I, I know that we own the building I know that we put more burden on them and upkeeping their building and that's taken away from their budget that they need to provides resources. I just am always really surprised that it's at that number. That's all. Just a comment. Any further questions on substance abuse? Okay, we'll move on to alcohol and substance abuse. Any questions on page 133? This is also a pass through. Prevention Council. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prevention Council. Okay. No questions on that. We'll move on to Mental Health Administration 134 through 40. Thank you, Chairwoman. Uh, 134, uh, furniture and computer, same scenario as we mentioned before? Yes, okay. so this would be the same. This is for two laptops for our two spell coordinators, one for adult and one for child, and then a respective desk that needs an update. Right. Thank you. Is there a crowd that you have? Mm -hmm. okay. 135, 136. Question about the. I think we spoke on the phone about the Oasis abatement funds on page 138. There's a um, looks like it's a revenue line, but can you explain that? What, um, um, yes, yeah, so we, we were we were speaking with Commissioner Lewis earlier today. I believe there's going to be a, an adjustment there to true up because that should be a zero bottom line, 100% funded. Okay, just to reflect the correct line. Yes, that's, that's correct. correct. Okay, so that'll be done probably budget finance committee or. I just want to make a motion. I mean, we could do it here. Okay. But this is. Um, the, uh, you have to give me the accounting because I'm not going <laughs> to let's go. In order to get that to zero, um, we need to make that number 218179 That's the revenue. The revenue portion, mm -hmm. which is a 65974 adjustment. So we're looking at page 138. Mm -hmm. There is a, um, a total revenue line of... Two hundred eighty-four thousand one hundred fifty-three dollars, and to make those uh, match, to make those equal zero, we have to change that line. What else has changed in there, though? Can you just? I believe it was fringe, maybe that was updated yeah. after it was originally submitted as a request. I think that there was some fringes that were updated, maybe some personnel changes. I'm not right. quite sure. So the actual revenue on that is two hundred eighteen thousand one hundred seventy-nine. Right. Yes. 
it's 100% funded. And it's 100% funded, mm -hmm. right. Okay. So, you guys just to be clear, the, yeah. so the, the total expense of the 218179 is actually revenue generated, so that's correct. why we're 100% revenue generated. Out. Yes, that's okay. correct. Okay. So it shouldn't be a, a, a positive of 65,000. We have to, the revenue has to meet the expenses because it's 100% funded. Right. Okay, so I will um, make a motion to amend that revenue line for mental health administration to be equal $218,179,000 to match the expense line, $218,179. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we're on page uh, 138 and 139 and 40, Mental Administration. Any questions on those pages? Okay, so moving on now to page 141 through 145, Mental Health Services. This is all passed through that. This is all passed through. Mm -hmm. And who are the subcontractors? Search for change. The Prevention Council. We have People, the USA, and the Mental Health Association. Any questions on these lines? 134 through 140. These are passed through lines for our subcontractors. Okay, no, oh, go ahead. Let's show you Overall, I see that there's a lot less coming in, and we added like 40000 for taxation. Are you com comfortable that there's enough to do the job? I'm just, I'm looking at the total. I, I, I pulled the totals on page 145. So this is the, um, when we're talking about mental health supported housing uh, in, in case management. I think on the case management side, we are doing okay. We, we are seeing a decrease in wait lists for someone to be connected to a case manager, we can always use more housing. That's an issue in every county in the country. Um, but we're, we're managing it, and we are running on a wait list, but we are, we're doing okay. It's not great, but it's, it's okay right now. Any further questions? In general? Mental health services. Pages 141 through 145. I'm not giving a minute to go through. And there's nothing after that, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. um, good question. Okay. Chair so, one, I have a question. Thanks, Chair Montgomery. Um, what did you ask for that wasn't funded? In the mental health budget? Yeah. Overall. Yeah. We're unsure if um, we did request a vehicle for the mental health staff. We don't have one. Um, it may have been moved to a different line or a different department. Uh, other than that, we did. Can we look that up, Michelle? Is there any way to look that up to see if they have a car? I think we have to wait until um, PGS. Okay, so we can make a note to um, see if the mental health got a vehicle. So for okay. Can I continue my conversation? Oh, oh sorry, There's I didn't realize. There's just no the coherent way to do this. Legislator Nesquina. As far as the vehicle, uh, I'm just questioning. Then, if it would be in, we're questioning whether it's. it's 
Central Services, but to be consistent, it was just in the, the health department. So it should be reflected in this budget if there is a request, I would assume. So is that's I, the same as my Lewis yeah. Was there any discussion about that during the budget preparation process for a vehicle? The vehicle request? I think. It was a vehicle request, I think, for um, mental for mental health. I think I would think Commissioner uh, Tolan would be able to speak about that one. But I think the point is, it was reflected in the health budget. There was a new vehicle that was leased in the health budget, two. and why would it not two. be two? Why would it not be reflected also in the mental health budget if there was one? If there's a reimbursement, it would probably stay with the department. If not, it would go through general services. There's money attached to it. I would hear a mark. As it's done through the department, it would stay there. We look with that department. We didn't move it. If it was a vehicle that wasn't attached to anything, it went to general services. So, was that just the case with the health department? The health department was on Is that consistent? Check, I, would have, I would have to check with um, Bill and with uh, Tully. Because otherwise we would have we would have moved it into central or DGS. I understand that, but the conditions that you just stated was that the case is what we're trying to ascertain. Uh, I would have to find out. With Mike Newell's Mike, Mike, do you know? Norm I mean the, the normal um, consensus is that if it's a health program, if it's a if it's the mental health program, anything that had federal and state dollars tied to it stayed in that respective department. Yeah. Anything that was not funded with federal or state would go into the DGS department. So actually we have um, two in here. One is for me and one is for the staff. So there's still one in and neither are connected to any sort of reimbursement from the state. Right. So if th they both should be taken out then. If, right. It will be consistent. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you have two cars. There's two cars. We just we requested we have, another one. Yeah. We have one. You have one. Yes. So, like, for example, when I called for you to respond to the drowning. They all drove their own cars. Everybody drives their own car. Except the co-responder team. And the co-responder team has a car. Mm -hmm. They sure yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. To the chair. So, where is that request reflected? What page is that? Is 135. That? Okay. And what number is that? is under 54210. You'll see that we requested 16560 and the tentative is 8000 Okay, so you have leasing rental. Okay. Sorry, page 131. 55. Five, five. Five. Middle of the page. Middle of the page, leasing rental. Okay. So that's one car then, mm -hmm. and you want you, you wanted two. It's a little shy of one, but yes. And it's not reflected right. here. That's right. Through the chair, I would like to see that reinstated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I agree. Um, I think you need two cars, at least one for your staff and one for the commissioner, which is pretty mm -hmm. standard throughout the county. Um, I would make that motion to reinstate the vehicle leasing rental line mm -hmm. to the full ask of 16,560. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any state extensions or no's? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you on that same page, thank you. On that same page, um, 54950. That is reflective of our 730 expenses um, and the evaluators that are completing these exams. Um, we did put in for 1.1 million. That was based off of our trends for this year, uh, the amount of people that we had um, in the hospital at the time. So the 8,000 that was, um, that is tentative, we are comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. Right, the 800,000, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're okay with that? We're, we're comfortable with that this time. If we need more, of course, we will We will come back. Mm -hmm. That That is a cost that is outside of our control. Right, mm -hmm. and that's what we're required to make that. Yes. 
It's mandated. It's mandated. Uh, let, uh, Commissioner, did you have something? I, I just wanted to add that um, if, if and when they if they do need to come back next year, we also have, if you recall, in the, uh, the audit presentation, we have money set aside uh, for state aid reserves, which pretty much is the reserves that the state won't, you know, fund. So we could always uh, tap into that as well. There's approximately $5 million. Legislator Elner. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oh, that's no problem. I just have a general question. With the laptops, are we keeping them? We're keeping them per uh, department, or are we removing them into Office of General Services? If they're not attached to a grant or federal or state funding, or going to general services, if there's an attachment to them, then they can stay in so the same as cause. Okay. Yeah. Just. Correct. So then it will be coming out of this mental health budget because we do not get reimbursed for the that. Office of Disabled that we have the one laptop in there that's not reimbursable. And then should so then out. we should transfer this over. So that one was not. That's not reimbursed. For the office page of fifty six. So that needs to be transferred over to the office of if that's the general services. Okay. If there's any other like that, I mean, mm -hmm. can you let us know and we'll yep. take it out to the office of general yeah, services. Right. So that was on page 56. You said 156? No, 556. So this is computer equipment in the amount of. $1,650, this is um, an amount that is not covered by a grant. That's correct. And if this is not covered by a grant, then this amount can go to general services and go into the general services grant, and you can still get your laptop. I believe so. I, mean, I would hate to take this out and then find right. out you, you go there and you're like, sorry. If it's that's not the funded, process, that's the then problem. it would make sense to pull it out. I, right. Unfortunately, right. I don't so know the process. So. Michelle, we can right. move it. You could make a motion to remove it and move it into the IT computer line and then... And then earmark it for uh, Office of the Disabled. Right. Correct. Okay. So I'll make that motion then to um, take the amount requested for the laptop in um, line number 52130 in the amount of $1,650 for the Office of the Disabled. We'll move that into IT line earmarked for the Office for the Disabled. <coughs> office of General Services. Sorry. Whatever the correct line is. Central <laughs> Services. All in favor? Aye. 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 Central Services. Central Services. Central Services. Central Services. Is that going to check? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And the as well. We'll go line by line. I don't know how that's going to work. You just let me know mm -hmm. how that's going to affect the other lines. That's the problem. The previous people that presented, if they need to be moved into the other budget line or if they stay in their department. This is a new department, just to let everybody know. Uh, General Services Department, and it's. I'm still a little sketchy on what goes in there and what doesn't go in there. I'm just, um, which is why we're trying to work our way through this. Mm -hmm. So, um, but for my understanding, at this point, if it's not covered by a grant that goes through mental health or social services, then it should come out of general services. Legislator Nesterino. But last year, when we did this, the Office of the General Central Services pulled all the money out of the various lines and it was reflected in the budget. So the furniture line was pulled right. and it was commingled together. Right. The leases the were lines. commingled together. So now we have it one way on one page and another way on another page. Yeah, it's, it's really it's, not consistent this it's year. It's confusing to me. I can't imagine if somebody's looking at these on the website and they're like, it's it's hard to follow yeah, I what the actual budget is for the 
department. But it's hard for us to make all these adjustments right. throughout the whole budget if it's not been encumbered correctly from the get-go. Yeah, and out of a $205 million budget, we're moving $1,650 in for one computer, and then we're going to have to go to another one. It's, it's a little cumbersome. cumbersome. Um, any other questions on this? Legislator Elmer. On that, that same thing, if we could please, if I could get an explanation for page 151-54210, I see that your vehicle oh. lease. Social services. Social services. Okay. I see that you're. What you had in 24, obviously your ask is greater, but the tentative is less than what you received in 24. Uh, which one? I'm sorry. 54210. Yes, I'm just looking for the. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure why it was. Did we not? We I don't think we started this one yet, but uh, mm -hmm. hey, the social mm -hmm. services. Sorry. No, that's okay. I, that was one of my questions. So we're moving. So we're moving on now to social services. Page 150 through 160. 160, excuse me. Um, and that was one of the questions that I had on page 151. Um, Legislator Elmer, did you want to continue? I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. So again, we have um, on the social services side a lot of mandated <laughs> services that we must provide. Um, we do get reimbursed for some things, mm -hmm. and I'm assuming that this is reimbursable for Oh, yes. The Everything on DSS is subject to reimbursement, so I'm not... So for the vehicle and leasing, I don't believe we... Did we put in for a new vehicle for DSS? Yeah. I don't believe we did. This is under TA. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like we did it. So if I'm looking at the right line, it's you requested twenty four thousand dollars, and the tentative budget was thirteen thousand eight hundred. And I think is there a vehicle that you? I think there may be some confusion because there's no vehicle. I mean, there's no vehicle under temporary assistance. Mm -hmm. Page one fifty one. Yeah. Oh, Five. under services. Okay. Five four two one zero. I apologize. Yes. 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 Child protective yeah. services. Yeah, that seems like you would really you would need two vehicles for child protective services. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what is uh, the discrepancy here? Is so there there's five here? vehicles that we have for services. Um, currently, we have four in our possession, and we were requesting an additional. Um, at the 690 per month rate. So if we took, I'm not sure why it was cut the way it was, to be honest. Um, so that additional because it's 11,000 so dollars was for an additional vehicle for We CPS. had 8,000 for an additional vehicle, so I'm not sure what makes up that. What the, what the just is that, and this is covered by grant fund. This is covered by the state. Yes. Yes. This is 100 percent covered. It's not 100 percent. Um, all the admin is around 73 percent coverage, depending on how the vacancies fall and. But at least 73 percent. Have a question. So we're we're looking at 54210, correct? Mm -hmm. Five the request was for 24,000. The grant in the budget was for 13,800. How can you rent? I don't think that that's enough money to realize a leasing of a vehicle. Is that sustained? Is that something that is sustainable? I don't think that that would personally even cover the four that we have existing in our fleet. For the twenty-four thousand. That's not even feasible. The thirteen eight. Right, the thirteen eight. Right. It's a reduction from the prior year. Mm -hmm. And we requested one additional. Do they? Do you own those cars? Are those cars that bought? Are they leased? They're leased. So they're probably being recycled, right? Are you going to continue to keep them? Because if you're going to replace them, they're replaced with whatever mm -hmm. the mileage is, where it goes back to the residual amount. 
So I'm, I'm three of them are 2022 Ford Escapes, and one is a brand new 2024 Nissan Pathfinder. So that's what you have now. That's what we currently have in our position in our possession so, now. So you're looking to get additional one to go with those, or yes, will those be traded in? No, no, those will not okay. be traded in. And you sat with with Tully, right? Everyone was supposed to sit with Tully. Mike, did they sit with Tully or no? No, we did these, not. These, John Tully has a, a master list from his mm -hmm. enterprise um, inventory, which is what these numbers reflect in those respective budgets. So I would defer to him when he comes here to give an answer. I, I would just like to know then. Who did you tell you needed new vehicles if you didn't tell Tully? Didn't we need the We based it off of um, an existing. But we weren't, even our four current vehicles aren't in there. So I think that's where the confusion is. Even if you took out the additional request, our four existing vehicles aren't in there. Right, but if you're asking for four new ones, four. It's not four new no, ones. One. It's just to maintain our current One more. Fleet. One, one, so one. one additional plus the current four that we have. Okay. And the budget was, it was, it was almost $3,000 less than the previous year, so it wouldn't even cover their current <coughs> fleet. And they were asking for one. Is there any money tied to those vehicles for reimbursement or no? Yes, 74%. Okay. All right, so then it wouldn't have gone through Tully, Mike. It would have gone through, so is it in another line somewhere then for those other vehicles that they already have? Because the 13000 that would get them maybe one more vehicle for the lease. That's, but that's it, below it, the 2024. I get it, I get it, but I'm trying to find out for the additional ones, that, for the ones that they have now, that you're saying that it's not in here. I just in don't your budget, think, correct? To sustain your budget? I think Partial. I don't know what, what drove the 13800 We included three forward escapes, 2022 at $4,800 per year that we currently have existing, and then an additional 2024 Nissan Pathfinder at $9,600, which we currently have. Right, so if you add up the vehicles you currently have, what does that equate to a month? Uh, or a year, just say at least. Well above the 13, yeah. Right, but it's, it's above it's 20 something thousand. Right, I just want to hear what they're saying. saying. So it's above the 20 something thousand that was requested. So so my point is, whoever submitted the numbers for requested would have been off regardless. Unless we put a different line is what I'm trying to say for some reason. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Yeah. I have in here that we requested thirty two thousand two eighty. So I'm not sure where the twenty four but I have the printout from Munis that has that that figure. So would these cars be in another line? Chairwoman, I don't think we're gonna get an answer tonight. Can we table this and, and make a motion to table this part of it and get the answer? During audit, uh, I'll go over it with uh, tomorrow if you want. With Commissioner Lewis, mm -hmm. and tell you to find out. Can we? Happened. Yeah, can we meet with? If that, if that works. Get yeah. clarification. I from, have. I have a. From John I have the spreadsheet from Commissioner Tully to put thirteen thousand eight hundred in yeah. specific. Line. Okay. Can we get further? When our original request was be not, be right. Right. Yeah, that might take care of the one they're asking for the new one, but the other ones that they still have, where's that money for them? So let's just get clarification yeah. from sure. um, John Tully to find out um, how this is being funded, and then we can bring it back up at. So budget finance. Right. Yeah. So what we're looking for is the lease payments that are encumbered for this year's budget for the existing vehicles. Is that correct? That's not reflected. Plus one. Of, um, Plus one new one. Again, I don't really know where that thirteen eight is derived from. <coughs> According to what we currently pay, I believe it would just cover two of the four vehicles that we currently have in our fleet. Okay. We just want to clarify and make sure that you're off. getting definitely at off. least the four vehicles that you're currently using. Right. And you know, hopefully an additional vehicle. Okay. 
but we don't want to underfund you. And so we're going to get clarification from, the commi from Commissioner Tully, uh, Legislator well, Tully. Through the chair, would it be unacceptable to ask to have a list of the vehicles that we have on plate that are currently being used for each department so that we know what we have as we move further into the budget season? I and think then we, we can reflect. Yeah, Commissioner Tully did get that. Did you get it? We did get one in our. Uh, Is it, it's up to date 100%. So we can see what's being asked and what is funded through OGS and what is funded through each department. We do have a leasing report. But, but to get clarification. But other ones that are not leased anymore, right, that are through the departments wouldn't be on that report, correct? Well, there's there's a couple of separate reports. Separate, there's one for right. the leasing and there's ones that are not leased that, right. that are through DPW or that we own. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we have that. Is it possible just to have them as a reflection? So. Oh, uh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's a great recommendation. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Just so there's no more confusion. Okay, okay so we're going to move on. Okay, so we're going to find out that from the commission. All right, so let's get back on track here. Um, we were talking about... Social Services, page 150 through 62. Um, I had a question on page 159. About computer equipment again. 159? Page 59. Yeah, 159. That was... Um, you requested $23,750 and it was zeroed out. Is that the same? This will, it's Instance? actually the opposite because this is a program <laughs> where we do get partial reimbursement for equipment. Um, if you look on page 154, um, the computer equipment was also removed. We have been $23,750 for 10 replacement computers for the Medicaid unit, which is 100% reimbursable. Um, Page 154. Yes. So similarly to 159, this is 100% reimbursable. The latter, 159, is partially reimbursable, and they're both removed. Okay, so on page 159, you requested $23,750 okay. for computer equipment. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's 100% reimbursable? 159 yeah. is a partial reimbursement, um, around 73%, depending on how the expenses fall throughout the year. But the Medicaid is definitely 100% reimbursable on page 154. We have Tom Lannan going to give them some laptops. We didn't know until just recently that there was a grant for it. When we asked at the hearing at our budget sitting, uh, we were told there was nothing attached to it or no grant for it. It's not it's not a grant, it's reimbursable oh, though. And that was we my mistake. I, I, I no made it. Right. It. I, I made a mistake with that. So, so this is twenty three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars um, we can add back in and it's fully reimbursable. That's correct. Yes. Okay, so I'll make that motion to um, add back line number five two one three zero and for computer equipment the amount of twenty three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Is this on one fifty four or one? Page one fifty four. Okay. Yes. That's one hundred percent reversible. Yep. Right. So we can put that one back in. I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Is it another another line somewhere? Second? All in favor. Thank you. Aye. Okay, and the, the other computer line that we were just talking about is on page 159. That one is partially reimbursable, you said? That, that's correct. Page 159. And you said 70, <coughs> 73 <coughs> approximately, depending on how the expenses fall for the year. So this computer equipment is going to be used for This is what? primarily to be to upgrade um, administration. So it was 10 additional laptops to swap out Laptop old aging state laptops for legal, fiscal, admin, any type of administrative support. So are you suggesting multiply that number 
Is this, and this is something that um, you spoke with Tom Lennon about. Our, our, um, we sent. I our think Mich yeah, we did. We did speak with our auditing. Michelle spoke with Tom Lennon about the uh, computer equipment, and he was he was fine with it. So, legislator. Uh, thank you, Bill. Page 159, um, vehicle leasing. Wait, are we doing a motion on that? I'm yeah. sorry. It's okay. Any questions about the computer equipment? Because I'll make a motion. Um, I'm going to make a motion to add back in the computer equipment line number 52130 for the, in the amount of $23,750 for laptops. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Okay. Okay, go ahead, uh, these things that we're doing here might be on other lines. I'm looking at page 159, and um, vehicle leasing, they requested 4800 and they were given 13800 So this could be from something else that didn't come in. Before we start changing the budget a lot, we should really find out what is what this is. If I, if I could just go on record here, I, I have an email from John Tully what the what the numbers should be and that was based on his inventory, for better lack of words, that he has with Enterprise. So okay. I have no problem sharing that and that's how the, the budgets were adjusted accordingly. Well then the vehicle leasing on page 159, why did we give them an additional $9,000? That would be a, as an answer for commission of dollars. If I may. Go ahead, Christine. Um, so under this department, we only have one vehicle under admin that we lease, which I put in there for $4,800 for the entire year. I'm not sure. Maybe it was, I, I, I don't know why it was increased by $9,000. Maybe that's more of an yeah, so I think these questions we need to have answered with, with uh, Commissioner Tully. Maybe he can explain, and you know, and maybe maybe they were swapped. You know, budget lines in the cars. Yeah, so we only have one vehicle for admin, so. So you have one vehicle for admin. So maybe we need to clarify these lines. Maybe. Let's yeah. Elner. The amount which was placed in is the exact amount. Mm -hmm. yeah. The commission of probably 13,800, so that's where that number came from. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get that. We'll get that clarification, and it's making that makes sense. Okay, so we're on page. Um, Oh, page 160. I want to ask about the SPO line. There is a chargeback on line 556460. So this is the, um, the two SPOs that we have in the building, the 82076 is for the two um, officers. We also pay for the radio, dry cleaning, cell phones. Mm -hmm. Uniforms. Uniforms. Background checks. There's more that encompasses just their salary. So the budget last year, um, you, you asked for an additional 15000 or so dollars. It actually was reduced in 2024 as well. We had to transfer money to fulfill the the, um, the chargeback contract. Okay. So it was. So every year it's getting reduced a little bit more. The same amount, but we still need the full 82 to fulfill the contract chargeback with them. And that will the eliminate okay. us needing to come back. Yes. And this is for oh that okay. So this is for two S two SPOs yes, we for your department. Yep. So we recently had to do a budget amendment right. to fund the additional 15 this year to make up for that. That was removed. So instead of coming back, you just 
and just put it in the budget. That's our problem. Last year, you guys had a deputy, right? So that was, you know, we said that's the year? Because when was the year before they lost, you lost the deputy and that moved from the contract? I don't know. Yeah, because that was one of the positions I think that was given up in the contract. Because it used to be funded through. Oh, okay. Can I ask, uh, Commissioner Lewis, when when are these uh, when are these bills paid? Because it looks like uh, up till now it's only nineteen thousand nine hundred and thirty three dollars. That's been um, paid this year. Go ahead. Um, yes, we're just waiting on the chargeback from the sheriff's office, the voucher, in order to send them a check to offset that. So we're waiting for. I don't know if they do that on a quarterly basis or a semi-annual basis, but. Um, we project that we'll come in pretty close to that 82 once all expenses are reconciled. Correct. And this is based on this current year's. Yes. I'm pretty sure they do it quarterly. Mm -hmm. okay. They may just be a little. Okay. So, yeah. so we're underfunding this line. Mm -hmm. We're underfunding this line. So, so unless we, unless we fully fund it. Does that open your question? Yeah, I do. Uh, that same page, are we getting an additional cell phone? No, third item down. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'd, like to, I'd like to finish with the SPL line if we might just continue yeah. with this line and then we can go back to that. Um, I will, I think that we need to fully fund this line. We, that's what the budget process is for, is to fund lines that we see. Um, and this is the same match as last year that you had requested. Um, I will go ahead and make a motion to fund the contracts line 55646 to the amount $82,076 to fund the two SBOs. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Justice of Everson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, go ahead, lecture it open. The cell phone line. Third item down, cell phones. Are we getting an additional cell phone? We're we're not getting a additional cell phone. This is currently the $1,200 is currently for three cell phones for the commissioner, deputy commissioner, and legal counsel. Um, I believe this is just truing up the actual costs and maybe repurposing the deputy commissioner from okay. the split between, because it was formerly mental health and social services, and now it's social services. Okay. So that's to true that up. We're on page 160 and 161. Anyone have any further questions on social services? Or any of those lines, 152. Okay, so we're going to move on to daycare, page 163. Um, I don't have any questions on this page. Okay, go back to um, 162 I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, page 160, um, the miscellaneous line, you requested 6700 Yes. What is that for? That was for, um, what page is it again? 160. 160, miscellaneous. 54989. Go ahead, Kristen. Um, so this is, so currently there was not a budget put together for vehicle cleaning or interior cleaning. Um, so with three vehicles encompassing this account, we included $400 per year for those vehicles to accommodate for, you know, maybe children getting sick or, you know, things that come up. Um, so we included that, I think currently staff were maybe cleaning it themselves. So we were just trying to make that whole um, and also included in that we asked for an additional five thousand dollars for the staff development council <coughs> that's for five thousand dollars yes what is that do? Um, staff development council we wanted the opportunity to be able to 
improve the social and emotional wellness of our staff, honestly. We want to be able to do things that sometimes will involve money, whether we're bringing in a trainer, whether we're having an annual picnic, whether we're, you know, doing a debriefing and buying pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it's just something, um, it, it, yes. So mm -hmm. staff just council is really is, really is going to be focusing on team building and the big beliefs, that was basically it. Finger printing, $100. Those were the big two drivers. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, we're back to daycare. If anyone has any questions on daycare, page 163. Move on to page 164. Per services recipients. Services for recipients. Can you tell us what this is? Payments. Page 164. 164. Okay. Mandated Title 20 services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Short term placement for Women's Center for the Domestic Violence Shelter. Um, it includes preventive services and JD pins contracts with green chimneys. And at risk adult protective services if somebody's at risk of losing their housing, if they need um, help with utilities, fuel, whatnot. Is that also cleanups? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah. We also come into contact with people that have hoarding tendencies, and that is a very big um, expense to bring somebody in, a company in to do that. Anyone have questions, further questions on this? Page 164. And 165, one, Medicaid, that's always a good one. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. We must pay for it. It's a big nut for the county to crack. This year it is $9,800,000, uh, which is the same as last year. Mm -hmm. So that's one good thing. All right, moving on to 166, medical other. I'm going to breeze through these. If anybody has questions, please stop me. Page 166, Medical Other. These are all pass through. This is for modifications for homes or vehicles due to um, We had to um, assist a family with modifications to their personal vehicle to accommodate a medically disabled child. So that is why um, that mm -hmm. was a big expense. And it's 100% funded, right. so you can yeah. see the bottom line is around it. Okay, and then um, 167, aid to dependent children. Questions on that? 168, child care. State training schools. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, go ahead. I'm sorry, I just wanted to make a motion. It was just a typo. Um, okay. In that miscellaneous line that belongs in contracts. Tell me which page. Oh, sure. Uh, 169. 169? Yep. Yeah. The $153,212 was inadvertently put into miscellaneous. Oh, yeah. It belongs in contracts. And we corrected that later. Oh, I see. So. Okay. So I'll make a motion to move um, miscellaneous line. Five four nine eight nine in the amount of one hundred fifty three thousand two hundred twelve dollars to the correct line reflected in contracts line five four six four six. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay. One seventy. Uh, state training 
pulls. Seventy-one safety net. I can you tell us about safety net again? I think it's a great program. I want to just explain what that is. Safety net, page one seventy-one. assistance program that provides cash and non-cash assistance to individuals and families who are ineligible for family assistance or other federal assistance programs. Um, we, use this program? Mm -hmm. we also assist with burials for families that can't afford it. Mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. was just recently something we did. This also helps um, bridge the gap between that 45-day waiting period for somebody is eligible for services, so we use these funds to help them. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, moving on to page 173. Emergency aid to adults. No questions there. All right. Um, 174, Captain Workforce Partnership. Please raise your hand if anybody has questions. We're, we're going to be right through. Uh, DSS Wait, one, grants 175. Oh, I'm sorry, Commissioner Lewis. 174. 174. Um, we, we noticed when we were going to our review, this is 100% um, funded. Uh, therefore, we need to increase the line that's uh, ending in 447917, that's the WEA Adult C CFDA 17.2586, right. from 71,926 to 76,866. We, we also need to increase the revenue line ending in 447917. The, uh, the WEA dislocated worker, CFDA number 17.260 from 164.833 to 176.154. Those two changes uh, combined will uh, equal 16,261. So you'll have a, a new revenue of 253,020 when it's all said and done. Oh, okay. So it's the same. Yeah, that's the same lines on the bottom. Uh, one sixteen two. So we just want the we want the revenues to equal the expenses. Okay. All right. So that's I'll make those two motions mm -hmm. for line. Um, I'll make a motion to increase line forty four forty four seven nine twelve, the WIA adult CFDA from seventy one thousand nine twenty six. Is seventy six thousand eight sixty six forty four seven nine twelve? Did you say that or did you four four seven correct? nine twelve? Okay. Correct. Uh, that's a revenue line, so we're gonna uh, bring that to seventy six thousand eight hundred sixty six. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Moving on to the next line. This is um, forty four four seven. 917, we are dislocated worker, um, changing the revenue line from 164,833 to 176,154. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, 176, we're talking 175 through 179, these are DSS grants. And I mean, the first page on page 175, I'm assuming that's a grant that we're not saving. Those are allocations that we receive and we'll show those up through, through a budgetary amendment when the allocations when are received. received. Okay. And that's for all of these grants? 
No, not all. Safe Harbor, or domestic just violence, summer youth. Some of them that may fluctuate year over year. Okay. We'll go through those pages if anybody has questions. Page 176, 177, 78, 79. Okay, if there's no questions on the DSS grants, I think, um, okay. I think we're done. <laughs> The bottom line here today is that we're going to find out about the cars being okay. moved into the other lines. Thank we're you. going to find out, get clarification from the commissioner's colleague. See you next week. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's only 8.40. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was just saying for that. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to move on now to OSR. We have our director, Mr. Mike Cunningham. <laughs> OSR starts on page 191. <laughs> Thank you, and I'm sorry, you have to introduce your uh, I'd like to Introduce our team here. We got <coughs> Deputy Director Marlene Barrett, our new fiscal manager Thomas Demarchi, and uh, also our new nutrition oh, services yeah, manager right. yeah. <coughs> Kevin Monahan. Welcome. So we got a kind of a fresh team. <laughs> so um, in years past, I've always given out a dashboard because I thought it was kind of a helpful tool to kind of help direct, you know, what are the, the key elements of, of our upcoming budget. And uh, this year might even be more important as a tool because we've made some big changes in the formatting of the OSR budget. We consolidated a lot of contracts or, <coughs> or budgets into a, a fewer, uh, in, into fewer numbers. So that will make it a little bit tougher to navigate because yeah. you'll see a lot of ins and outs and if you ask me anything about equipment lease, car leasing, I'm going to Yeah. But I think we're, I think we're good on that. So maybe I'll just kind of walk you through, maybe uh, starting with budget highlights. Um, you know, one of the and we talked a little bit about this recently when we were uh, looking for an amendment on our uh, food budget line, that we're continuing to see growth in attendance. Uh, and one area, too, that we're, we're seeing growth in is in our, our adult day services programs. You may be familiar, we have two of those programs that target more frail elderly, uh, primarily those with uh, dementia or early stages of, of Alzheimer's. Very key programs, uh, a lot of, uh, and really, really <coughs> uh, serving an important and very vulnerable part of our population. And we're really proud that we had you know, I, my sofa went quiet for a few years because of uh, the pandemic, and they didn't want to go out into the field. But they blessed us with two audits in, pr in pretty rapid fashion, and uh, and each one was perfect. So we're really proud of those two programs. Not every county has an adult uh, services program, day services program. We also our uh, helping hands program, our home health aid program is is, is going strong. Um, we won an award on, on that last year. I may have talked about that in the past. And uh, we've been using that. Uh, you know, you know, our unmet funding has, our unmet needs funding has, has been a key part of keeping that, that going. And we, we have about 75 uh, folks receiving uh, you know, home health aid services. We have a waiting list of about 80. 
Uh, and you know, those two programs are really ones where there's going to be perhaps some growth pressure in the future. You know, the, the home health aid program and adult day services, because we really don't have, both of, both of our current programs are in the south and western parts of the county. We have really nothing in the northeast, and it's a long distance for some uh, frail folks to uh, uh, to travel down to Pud Valley or to uh, Kohler and Megapan. Um, <clears throat> our wellness programs are doing great. Uh, we've been, uh, you know, we're winding down our ACL grant that we received for um, uh, 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 full prevention of programming. Uh, and uh, I'm proud to say that the smallest of the five counties in the region has outperformed all of the other counties, including uh, Dutchess, Rockland, Orange, and, and Ulster. All, you know, all of those counties have an aging population three times the size of ours, and, uh, and our wellness team has done a great job in, in, uh, in, in running those programs. And uh, we're winding down this year with the 25 budget. We will be winding down our fleet renewal. When we came on board, we had a, a, an old fleet, and it's been kind of a steady, <coughs> steady program over the last several years to, uh, to replace that. So we have a real good uh, fleet of buses, and, uh, uh, and so we're well, well positioned in the future to be able to just, you know, one or two a year to, uh, to roll out the, the fleet. So that's kind of a, some of our highlights for the year. Um, in terms of the budget itself, uh, we are seeing revenue down about $18,000. Um, and that's really not, not, not bad news because the, <coughs> the, we're not drawing down on the Lobdell grant, which we used for, in this, in this year we used that to fund um, a new handicap van. We don't need to uh, draw down on that uh, grant next year. Uh, so that, that's one element. And we're also, as I mentioned, we have this ACL grant, uh, which is uh, the Administration for Community Living, the federal agency that oversees our programs. That grant for fall prevention is winding down as well, so we, don't, we won't be drawing down on, on, on those grants. Otherwise, you know, we have had a $60,000 increase in unmet need funding and other state and federal grants up about 46000 and some cost share increases of about twelve. So on the revenue side, it's, it's, it, we're, we're, we're in pretty good shape, even though there is a, a, a decrease. Um, uh, <coughs> on the expense side, we're looking at about $117,000 increase uh, in, in our spending. Uh, a lot of that driven by personnel services. Uh, our unmet need contracts, uh, but, uh, which are fully funded, so that's, e even though those, those, those costs are going up, it is 100% funded. Uh, we, we have talked about inflation and our increased uh, attendance, uh, generating more, uh, more meals, so that um, uh, food expense is going up by, by about almost $50,000. Uh, we also have been using our unmet needs program to fund our, ta our taxi uh, a voucher program, which is very important for seniors who are no longer able to, to drive. Uh, this is, gives them some ability to to go to, you know, we also we already have a volunteer program for bringing people to medical appointments. Uh, this enables people to go to the uh, seniors to, you know, to go to, go to the hairdresser, go visit a family member in the hospital, uh, for uh, shopping, etc. So it's a very very valuable program. And and New York State has also chipped in a little bit with some direct funding for for to help us also access Uber and uh, and Lyft services. Uh, we're <coughs> about ten thousand. In you know, the increase, and in, we're looking to as we're winding down the ACL grant, we're, um, uh, we're 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 spending some more, getting some supplies that will gear us for 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 next year. Uh, vehicle leasing, uh, we're seeing that is a slight increase in in that because we have some vehicles that are going to be <coughs> expiring and they're going to be replaced with, and we're anticipating some higher rates for that. Janitorial supplies up a little bit, electric up a little bit. So, despite those increases, we've also been some of that's been offset by the fact that we are only buying one bus this year, as, as opposed to two last year, and uh, and other uh, ACL grant uh, expenses are, are, are going down, uh, and some other minor uh, uh, lower expenses. So, <coughs> you know, overall, uh, we're looking at it. With those two negatives of a reduction in revenue and uh, an increase in expense, we're seeing an increase in taxation of about 134000
A uh, big piece of that, if you look at the pie chart, it, most of our expenses are in personnel and fringe, so, and that's been consistent over the years. Around 70% uh, is, is related to our, our, our staffing costs. <clears throat> and then kind of going back to maybe the 3 o'clock area, you know, some of the key changes that we put into the budget on, on the personnel side is we've had, in, in OSR, we've had two positions, two groups of positions, that have been really the lowest grade positions in the county, and we've been wanting to rectify that. We've had you know the folks working in our adult day services program, uh, you know very closely with uh, very personal interactions with with the uh, our frail seniors. Those, those staff are, have been a grade one, uh, and we well below that of a grade five, which is uh, a mail clerk or a stable attendant. We, we think that that you know those positions warrant a a, 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 a review, and that's and that's been in, in progress. And also our our um, outreach workers. Uh, actually, that's the top one. The you know, <coughs> out, out, outreach workers uh, and the daycare helpers. You know, those two positions. We've been looking to increase the the the, uh, the grades of, of, of those to be uh, at a more respectable level. Uh, and the the other adjustments uh, are. Uh, are listed there as well. But those are the two key key positions that I wanted us to target uh, this year. In the years past, we targeted the nutrition staff. For a few years ago, we also you know, targeted um, doing some work in the, you know, with the transportation and, and, the, and, the, and the drivers. You know, this, this, this see we're targeting and working with, uh, with these two positions. <clears throat> and the good news is that we've been, re what really is certainly prompting a lot of this is we've been very successful, you know, recruiting some some good folks in, into into in, in, into these p positions, and uh, so we're uh, uh, some you know folks that we'd like to, to be able to keep on on, on board and, and give them what we think is a, a good salary. So anyway, that's those are the highlights, and uh, so we can kind of mm -hmm. do whatever and you know, <coughs> turn the pages if you'd like. Yeah, it's always good mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so we're looking at our um, our list of um, accounts and our page numbers. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to follow along, we start with um, OSR caregivers on page 191. Is this, is this, it's all been zeroed out. I'm assuming this is something that's been moved around or? Correct. It's been consolidated. And this is consolidated where would we find this? Um, I'm sorry, what was the... Page 191 for um, Blue Dark Girls, OSR. Where'd it go? Yeah, where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we look at the personnel side. Oh, I see. This is most. This is just personnel. So we're going to see. We're going to see them in in really the next section of OSR Title Three. 192 the next section for us. OSR Title Three is that what you just said? So we see in 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 this Title Three we've moved a lot of the uh, the uh, <coughs> you'll, 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 well, I'm looking at the personnel page which supports that. So in in which you don't have in, in, in front no. of you, but you can see we have our aging services aides, our caseworkers, um, our uh, uh, some of our nutrition uh, folks, so a lot of those positions have been consolidated in, into there. And so this is care they, caregiver services are generally going to be provided by the case management staff. And so that's, uh, you know, that uh, our case management staff are involved in a lot of different services. They're going to be involved in. <coughs> in, uh, in, a, in multiple budgets, and so that's what we're trying to do is to reduce the numbers of budgets because case management you know, does caregiving. They do other types of services as well. So it was kind of uh, uh, a, a, a administrative layer uh, to, to, to have additional re uh, budgets to report to. So OSA Title Three is what we're looking at first, and I'm just looking at the bottom line here. Um, last year, the original budget was 33, excuse me, 3.3 .3 million. Um, the revised budget budgeted down, and this year we're budgeting lower than that, 22.8 million. 
So there will be things that were in there that were also then moved into an, another Okay, area. yeah, this is why it, uh, <laughs> when I was going over your budget, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. it's like connect the dots. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any specific lines for the uh, PCOSR Title III, does anyone have any questions on page 192 and 193? I just can't help but notice uh, 192, the third one down. I'm glad you got rid of the contributions of a nut. I'm glad that one was zeroed out. I, well, <laughs> maybe in that budget, but it may pop up elsewhere. <laughs> Please yeah. don't. We have enough of that. Contributions, Office of the Aging <laughs> Nutrition. <laughs> it took me a while I to know. figure that out. It's a long night. <laughs> Go ahead, Legendary Crowley. 54210, another vehicle lease, assuming this is not. Where did that end up? So, page 194, I was talking about. 192, actually. Page 192. Uh, yep. Vehicle leasing yeah, rental. Yep, there was a request for 4,800 and a grant of uh, 4,600. Four, yeah, it was funded for 4,600. $200 difference. I don't know if that's from. This is so you know you'll you'll see vehicle leasing rental will pop up in a in a, a number of the budgets. Those were numbers that were you know given to us uh, through uh, general, services. general services. And so we you know I, I I can't identify per se which vehicle that might be. Perhaps it might be the one that I utilize. Um, <clears throat> but there will you will see that there will also be uh, budget lines for vehicle leases. Uh, in, in some of the other uh, areas as well. So this is kind of a general services. There, there may be some uh, elsewhere. Can I ask you a question about this lease then? Would this amount be covered in a grant? Because we were under the under, I mean, we've been speaking about vehicle leasing and rental. If it's covered by a grant, it's in the line. If it's not covered by a grant, it comes out of central services. So. I'm and just then, trying to get clarification it, for all it, these lines. If I may, Commissioner? I'll oh, go ahead. If you look at page 199, they're all listed there and it's under the unmet needs grant. So, so those, for, yeah. for example, those would be the vehicles that are driven by the aids under our Helping Hands program, which is funded by unmet needs. So that those are 100% funded uh, and, 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 and then charged here. So what will East stay. What's that? So those, can we go, hold on. So the $60,000 is a grant, the one, the one on page 199. Yes. That's so a vehicle leasing rental. So they would stay. So that would stay there. It's but the, the previous one. one that we were just talking about. Yeah, where do on we show up? Page. 192, 54210. Also on page 200. Well, we're jumping around. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. We're, no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're just, we're, we're talking about OSR. Title three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Five four two one zero. Vehicle leasing in the amount of forty six oh two originally asked for forty eight hundred. Is that something that is funded by a grant or is that not funded by a grant? Well in Title Three is is, is grant funding from grant funding. that's so this is grant, grant funding. Grant okay. Money. So then yes. it stays there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to clarify all these um, and, and this specific number was again an analysis that was done by Commissioner Tully, mm -hmm. and that's why we adjusted okay. accordingly. Okay, great. And, and just so to, and I remember we had a specific note for him to reduce this by $198, <laughs> which was granted. <laughs> so I, I just don't know which vehicle it's being, you know, it is and, and who it's used for, but, it, but you know, t Title Three is a federal. <coughs> okay, Commissioner uh, Nasserino. I'm just not understanding what $4,602 pays for. It just doesn't seem like it's a... Four, let's say $400 a month times 12 months. $400 a month for a lease? That's $4,800. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's $398. Okay. No, I don't know. Yeah, it's, probably, yeah, it's probably like $398. Like $398 or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more specific. Okay. Okay. What kind of vehicle is that? Do you Moped. Know? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> we have one of the. Because you're uh, not getting an Explorer for $400 a month. Uh, so it it could be. In the, we, got, we got Sonics, we got Nissan Altimas, we got okay. some Jeeps, um, Ford Escapes. Okay. 
I thought you said skates. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? I'll go ahead. Let's when we when we lease a vehicle, is there an initial amount that we're putting down to lease the vehicle aside from no. the payments that we're budgeting for? No. What for? happens is as the vehicle rotates, we start getting them right. They buy them back the residual amount, okay. and that money that is applied as a credit. Perfect. In the pool, to drive Thank down you. the lease cost. Perfect. Okay, we're going to move on. Uh, page 192, 193. That one's four. OSR three. We're going to go to 194, 195. Pop, pop them. Senior four. Anyone have any questions about that? I'm assuming like this was all zeroed out. I'm assuming this is in another line somewhere. This is reflected. So we'll move on to page 196, which is OSR, Federal Congregate Meal. This is food, correct? This is primarily our, we, we have our meals in two, funded by two grants. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it's uh, TC, Federal Aid and Nutrition. Uh, Contributions. And, and win. Why not? So you'll, you'll see, for example, food <coughs> might be split between this grant and another. That, but there are two sizable grants, so we had to, we weren't able to consolidate them yet because there's one's federal <coughs> and one uh, is, is largely state funded. So this is federal funding yes. for the food program. Yeah. And the food program um, on line 54320 is I'm reflected sorry, which in $430,000. Yes. And that's, okay. Mm -hmm. that's so we've consolidated their food lines that might have been in other budgets, put it, put it into here. We also consolidated the commodity foods line, that's which is kind of a New York, uh, kind of a New York State funding to it had little value to keep it as a separate uh, budget line, so you'll see some of that consolidation. So that's consolidated elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Chairwoman. Uh, 196 janitorial services seems like it's doubled, more than doubled. What do you do with that? Again, it could be the same thing. We we eliminated some janitorial services elsewhere. Yeah. I think overall, as I said in the uh, <coughs> in the um, in the dashboard, overall, when you add up all of the the janitorial lines, we're up about three thousand dollars overall. We're up about three thousand. We have an increase of three thousand. dollars uh, An increase of three thousand dollars. Not bad. What were you? And, and some of that is a chargeback that we get from uh, from central services. Yeah, the was uh, zeroed out mm -hmm. in two other spots. Can you tell me what contracts is for 54646 on page 196? On the amount of about $49,920. Mm -hmm. It's this contract. Well, maybe that was something else I'll move from one to the next. 54646 yep. under congregate meals. Dietitian. Thank you. You're welcome. Say it again. Uh, dietitian. Oh, dietitian. <laughs> That's why you have a team. Welcome. <laughs> Any other questions on that page? Okay. Putnam Senior Corps, OSR Federal, Aggregate Males, and Unmet Needs Grant. She touched on just a bit. Uh, we're on page 199, if anyone has any questions. Okay, Thank you. Um, contracts in the middle of the line, page 199. It seems to have increased uh, 300 plus thousand dollars. We have a new contract or is it a different item being put on that line? I think that. Uh, got one. That's the unmet needs grant. Is this good about contract? So it's going to be the fact that we got an increase in our unmet need funding. Uh, I don't know if ISEP is, if ISEP may have a, a line there, or... 
Yeah, because yeah, if you look at the next the next section, uh, just to jump to page 200, you'll see that the contracts are zeroed out there. Yeah. So we okay, consolidate them in, into uh, into under um, unmet needs. Thank you. Yeah. If, I, if I can also point out on uh, the revenue, the four three seven 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 one. There's 260,000. That's what it uses the the offset for that increase. Okay. Four coming three from, seven 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 one. Yeah, com coming from expanded it or ice. That's also known as ICEP, uh, and you'll see that <coughs> from probably from the next page and okay. brought over into this one. So that's a that's fully covered by yeah. grant funding. Well, well, ICEP is. Is New York State funded <coughs> as well, but it, it requires that part requires a 25% match. Uh, but we so even though we've consolidated for county reporting, our fiscal department we have a, a fiscal technician. She's able to then further break these out and report them to the to the correct state contract. But you know we have 20 state you know between 20 uh, you know, almost 20 federal and state contracts. That's what we're trying to simplify for county reporting, but we're able to do it on a spreadsheet basis to, to charge it to the right state contracts to make sure we fully uh, uh, spend all of the, yeah. the, the uh, state and federal money that we get. But it's too much detail for, for here, and we'll, yeah. we'll probably be able to even consolidate a little bit further you know, going in, into the future, especially as some contracts wind down. So just connecting the dots from revenue to uh, yeah. expense and mm -hmm. making it simpler. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so hopefully we'll that next year we'll on the budget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so moving on to, um, you, just, you did talk about uh, expanding income service. We did move that. Um, let's go to 201 and 202. And community service, service for, the for, for the elderly. This is uh, <coughs> uh, where we do a lot of the adult day okay. uh, the program is, is funded through this line. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Chairwoman. Uh, 201, food. We budgeted 6000 We haven't used it for this year. And then next year you didn't budget anything. Um, what happened that we're not using? What was that food for? Which which one? In the sorry. middle of the line. Community services for elderly. Five four three two zero. Four three yeah. I think we just put move that over to uh, <coughs> to um, our food budget. You know that I don't. I, I'm not sure if we. You know maybe that's something we looked to do last year to put some food money into that. But we haven't spent it, and the year before we didn't, and so I think we've just been pretty much keep trying to consolidate our food into those two other, two other areas. Uh, I mean, they're go ahead. I was going to say they get the same meal that the congregate um, uh, participants get, <coughs> okay. so it is, they don't get different food. Right. Thank you. Okay. All right. So moving on to two hundred three, two hundred four, the wind program. <coughs> That was all zeroed out. I'm sure that's food somewhere. That's food. Oh, that's food. Yep, more food. <laughs> more food. <laughs> so this this one's more of a state grant, and the other one is the federal. Okay. Uh, but for they, they will report as a you know uh, we, we we report separately as to the state under the the win, but no need to again uh, to have two nutrition budgets for for our purposes. Okay. Um, 205 and 209. Again, another vehicle, 205. <coughs> it's, um, I just had a question on 205 about that vehicle. 54210. Um, there's a request for 13100. Which, which one? I'm sorry. Line uh, OSR General. Yep. Five four two one zero vehicle leasing. You requested thirteen thousand one hundred, and it looks like half of that was granted by half six thousand six hundred. Is that reflected somewhere else? It's got to be some formula. The formula. Yeah, there's got yeah, there's got to be, and there's got to be an easier way to understand the vehicles. We're just uh, formula okay. somewhere that trudging our way through these. Go ahead, Legislator Elmer. 
Commissioner Lewis, is it possible to get a consolidation of all the vehicles yes. in this department? Yes, absolutely. Because Commissioner Tully has the inventory for the whole county. With their charges? Yes. That's how much and that's what I went by. So, we'll so how, do we, how do we reconcile what was requested and what's needed versus what they have and what they were budgeted for? All, all in that list. Yeah. All I can say is we have a fleet. We have about, you know, between, uh, you know, we have a fleet within OSR of, of 30 plus vehicles. We have the, uh, the buses, we have uh, the handicap uh, vans that we use for medical tra transportation is a f and a, f a few others. So we, you know, we've, um, I think we've gotten everything that, that we've needed. I can't, uh, you know, I wasn't sure different. that this was going to be, you know, an important topic tonight. Otherwise, I could have kind of pinpointed what vehicles were were assigned to each of the budgets. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we can certainly yeah. take a look at that. I mean, right. on the budget, it's just hard. It, I think it's hard for me to follow. I'm sure it's hard for somebody else to follow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're just just trying to clarify. You know, we want to make sure you have the vehicles you need yeah. without with overdoing it. You in, know, we don't want to vehicles were fund issue. something the taxpayer doesn't need to fund. And Okay. Any other questions um, on these pages? It's 205, 209. That's not really a licensing software, it looks like. We just got to switch there. Software accessories 54782 and 54783. Counting. Switch through. Thank you, gentlemen. 206 travel, the large increase. Is that consolidating it all in one line, or what's the situation with that? And so, this general fund is kind of a lot of our transportation uh, and other, you know, other equipment. So, for example, you know, software or uh, building. Uh, so, we're consolidating all in that line. Okay. Travel. I'm not Five, four, six, seven, five. Yeah. <coughs> you try to think about that. This is a consolidated line. Oh, this, this would, this I believe will be the travel, um, uh, I think it might be the mileage reimbursement that we do for the uh, uh, volunteers that uh. drive. You know, to you know, we we, we do uh, reimburse them for some uh, some of their, their 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 mileage. It's an increase of twenty thousand dollars. So I think it's some no, I think it's a move <laughs> from another it's line. It's so if we if we look at, I'm going to go back to the senior corps, and let's see, travel there was twenty thousand. So we moved all of that from C, and that would pay, we moved all that from page one ninety four. To page 206. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, any other questions on OSR general? Pages 205 to 209. Okay, moving on to recreation elderly. 229 to 231. I had a question about page 229 contracts. This, um, this is where we do our um, exercise uh, for prevention programs, and we do that mostly with uh, with uh, uh, paid instructors. And this is also a grant. This Partially. some of the, some of this is grant. Some of this would be just count county funds. <coughs> Are you you're increasing um, your contract lines? For forty thousand dollars to reflect. I think some of that would be also moving from other, you know, some kind of consolidation to you from other budgets to, to this. That's no problem. On that one, how much is coming from county funds, and how much is coming from state or federal funding? Now at the top is uh, federal aid that would be uh, 30, about thirty thousand dollars. So 
2935 and 29A11. And what wellness grants, you know, maybe 34, and then there's contributions, so there are, so 44 of that, of this budget would be funded with uh, the revenue. 44 of this budget from grants would be funded. From Grants, contributions, yes, so grants, the remainder is and uh, yes, will be federal aid. You'll see the top, the top four or five lines show the negatives are their sources of revenue for this budget. So there's, there's no county contribution on this. Oh, it would be the yes. balance would be That's county contribution. Yeah, taxation. That's taxation. Yes, okay. Two hundred seventy-one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars for this program. Any other questions for OSR? Because I think it's pointing in with this budget line. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out. It's like you have a great time. Appreciate it. Okay, so um, is there any other business? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is no other business. I will make a motion to adjourn. Second. Favor? Aye. Thank you.